Hi, my name is Marty Getz. I'm a singer of songs, and because of the kind of music I do, I'm referred to as a Messianic artist. So I'm here to speak to you as a Messianic singer of songs. And I've been doing for quite a while, probably since the early 80s, late 70s, when I became a believer in Yeshua HaMashiach. I had come to California to seek my fame and fortune as a songwriter and a singer. And a couple weeks into that time, I came face to face, figuratively speaking, with Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah of Israel. And I've been making music for him and through him and with him ever since. My earliest memories of Jewish music is from the synagogue. I was in the Cantor's Club at Temple on the Heights in Cleveland, Ohio. I learned to sing liturgical music. I learned, learned to cant. Then on Friday nights, a Shabbos dinner at my grandparents' house in Cleveland, I would sing the uh, prayers for the wine and for the bread. And so I was uh, really steeped in that kind of traditional liturgical type Jewish music. And we had a great cantor at our temple named Cantor Saul Meisels, and he really made an impression on me. But I never thought I'd be doing uh, cantorial music or anything of that sort, because the music that I heard at home was more along the lines, it was also Jewish music, but it was not messianic. Things like West Side Story, and uh, This is the Land of Milk and Honey by Jerry Herman, and and uh, Fiddler on the Roof, of course, which came out in when I was a like a, a young teenager. So uh, that was my earliest influence in music. And ironically, I'm still doing that kind of music today. When I became a believer in Yeshua, I began to get aware of Messianic music. And one of the first influences I had was a group called Liberated Wailing Wall in which was uh, one of the leaders, well, the leader of Chosen People, People Ministries, Mitch Glazer. I remember listening to that. It was unlike anything I'd ever heard. It drew from kind of the Eastern European oompa, 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 oompa. <laughs> Shtetl music, as I kind of like to call it. And, it. and it fused it with these messianic messages and these... Uh, spiritual messages about the gospel, about the good news of, of Yeshua HaMashiach, who is the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and also to the nations. And I was uh, kind of gripped by it. And the first attempt I made to uh, kind of not imitate it, but be influenced by it was a song called Jew Born Anew. And uh, it was a song that incorporated my testimony and then I started to write, uh, a lot of people uh, kind of identified me with that song even to this day. And uh, also I began to incorporate Hebrew into my songs, always trying to incorporate Hebrew li liturgy, uh, things that would, would speak Jewish messianics, things that would speak about Yeshua in a Jewish way. Ever since I became a believer, I've known I was a Jewish man because one of the prayers I said before I came to the Lord was, Lord, if you are the Messiah of Israel, you have to show me, and he did. And what has influenced me is that I know even more in my, what I like to call full of days days, I know more that it was really significant in my life that I was a Jewish man brought into the kingdom. And I said that to my wife, who was my wife-to-be at the time, Jennifer Yaffe, who became Jennifer Yaffe Getz. First date we took, we went through a three-hour walk. I sat on the stoop with her and I said, uh, you know it's important that we're Jewish. And she said, I'm not sure I know that. And I said, well, <laughs> I'm not sure what it means, but I know it's true. And so here we are in our, we're senior citizens, or seasoned citizens, as some people say, and we're grandparents, and uh, we'd love to be here a much longer time, but we, we all know that our, our life on this earth is limited, but we know more today than we did then, that we're to be a voice for the Jewish people, for the Messiah. We're here, number one, as a witness, if you're Jewish and you're still alive on this earth, 
you are a witness that there's a living God who preserves the people of Israel. And if you're a believer in Yeshua, the Messiah, you're a double witness because you're a witness of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who is the King of the Jews and the Lord of the nations. It's hard to describe my style of Messianic music. As a matter of fact, in the beginning, when, when Messianic believers started to get wind of who I was, they weren't quite sure about me because I'm really a balladeer at heart. Uh, as I said, drawing from those Tin Pan Alley, those Broadway show tunes, popular music. I was making music that had some Messianic flavor, but it was really just my own style of music. I always tell people kind of like if Barry Manlow got saved, <laughs> it would sound a little like that. And uh, my daughter Misha uh, mentioned that she writes from the scriptures. I've been writing from the scriptures from the beginning. The first song I ever wrote was Psalm 23. I opened the Bible, it's the only scripture I knew, and I put music to it. And lo and behold, it was recorded by a lady named Debbie Boone, for whom I worked for about 10 years. Her father, of course, Pat Boone, wrote the words to Exodus. So I was in a really good environment there. I was with people who loved Yeshua, they call him Jesus, of course, but uh, I also was with people who loved Israel. And in these last days, uh, we wanna give ourselves, Jenny and I and my whole family, completely to the vision of Messiah returning to this earth as these, the, the, to sit on the throne of David, to be the king over all Israel, and the Lord over all the nations. As we say, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That will be our anthem. That will be the theme of our songs and of our expression until we are here no longer and until he comes to be with us forever and forever. God bless all y'all. Shalom in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Messiah Jesus our Lord.